everyone, Desiree here. So in today's video, I'm gonna do an updated what's in my pen pouch, pen bag. <laughs> it's been a while since I've done one of these and actually I kind of went through a phase where I wasn't using a pen pouch because I just keep all of my pens on my table in this little uh, jar or I should say cup. So I wasn't actually using a pen case, but now I've gone back to using a pen case. So I've kind of updated what I carry with me because what I need isn't the same as what I was using before and all that. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. I've got four pen cases right now that I'm using regularly. Now these two I have shown before. I got these from Walmart. Uh, the brand is called Everything Mary. And this is a clear vinyl pouch. This one I'm using obviously to store my, what are these called, mild, mild liners, because I really like using these. So I keep these in a separate little zip pouch. And then I've got my fat Sharpies in this one here. And like I said, I think I showed these on Instagram. So these always are around in addition to one of these and I will show you what's in these next. Now, there's really no rhyme or reason as to why I may use one over the other. It really is just a matter of which one happens to be close by and which one I grab first. So, this one, I've had this for a few years now. This is the, I forgot what it's called, designed for arrangement, but that's not the brand. I think the brand is called Lehit or Legit or something like that. But I got this on Amazon, like I said, years ago. It's still in excellent condition and I've thrown it around in bags. I even got it wet and it's still, I mean, you can't even, it doesn't even look like it's got or shows any type of wear on it. Uh, it stays pretty clean. I think it's like a nylon material. So very durable, holds up great. I highly recommend them. Now when I bought mine, they only came in two colors orange and the black but I think now they do come in multiple colors so it's got the double zippers which is really nice it's got two outside pockets oh I do have looks like I've got my cute little magnet page markers in here I didn't even know those were in there <laughs> but it's got another pocket here on the front so you can hold like cards or I don't know anything on the outside oops now the thing I like about this uh, pen case is that you can hold quite a bit inside of it however what I have learned is that if it's not fully stuffed then your your pens will kind of flip-flop around so if you have a lot of pens it'll work out great because this tends to hold hold the pens better when it's full if you if if you have a little space, as you can see, the pens will kind of jiggle. But anyway, so on this side, I've got my Le Pen pens. And it's funny because I wasn't using this pen pouch. I found this <laughs> in my stash and realized, oh, here's where all of those pens are that I, that I love and I hadn't been using. So my Le Pens are here. I also have one of these what is this called? The uh, Smash. Is that what's called? Smash Company, I think. Anyway, this is the one that's got the glue on one end and then it's got a pen on the other end. I'm hoping the glue is not dried out. Looks like it still might be usable. So that's good. On this side, I have my Micron pens, another one of my favorite pens, especially to journal with. Um, the only thing is one of my pens actually leaked, the, um, the red one. I just opened this up one day and there was red ink everywhere. And I was able to clean it up, you can't even tell, but that was weird. I've never had one of these pens like explode on me. But anyway, that's what I've got going on on this side. Over here you can see it's got three mesh pockets and it's got one big mesh pocket over here. In this top pocket I have uh, page flags that I want to use up. 
can get that back in. Uh, I don't have anything in the second mesh pocket. And in the bottom mesh pocket, I have the full sticky, sticky notes. And then a couple of these uh, sample sheets that I got from an Erin Condren order a long time ago. On this side, I have my Sharpie pens. Again, another pen that I love to journal with. And then in the back, oh, and I also have my uh, Hobonichi pen. This one is from 2014. It's got the three colors on it. This is a really good pen. And then in the back, I've got a pack of the corner sticky pockets from Erin Condren that I've been meaning to use. I just haven't figured out where I want to use it yet. And that is it. That's all I've got in this pen pouch. Now my other one, this is a really nice pen pouch too. I picked this up at Target, I think it was last year during the back to school time. And they had this design and they had another, I think black and white design. And I think a few months ago, I saw this pen pouch kind of in a hot pink color in the UB section, but I haven't seen it recently. So I'm assuming probably when back to school time starts again, they'll probably have something similar and they'll probably have a brand new design. But again, it's a really well-made pen or pencil case. It's got a pocket here on the outside and then it's got a zip pouch here. And I probably have the same stuff in here that I had when I, when I did this the last time. I've got uh, some page flags, Martha Stewart, um, what are they called, those teardrops, some more page flags, tabs, uh, sticky tabs, these um, sticky hearts from Dollar Tree, and then some sticky note pencils that I got in some Happy Mail not too long ago. I always forget that I have stuff in this pocket, so a lot of times I don't, I don't use it. Now this one doesn't have a double zipper, but it does have a really nice zipper that goes along the outside. And this also doesn't have the flap in the middle. You just have the two sides. So on this side, I've got my favorite pens. These are the Pilot uh, G2.07. Also, I got, oops, I forgot what these are called, but these are my other favorite gel pen. This is the uh, Paper Mate Ink Joy. That's right. I really love those pens. They last a long time and they write really, really well. Uh, I also have some random uh, gel pens in here that I like. I like having a pink pen, so I've got, uh, well, my favorite colors to write in are pink and purple, so I have two pink gel pens here, no name brand, and then I have um, purple, two purple pens, again, no name brand. In this back pocket, I have a Gumby ruler that I've had for years. And then some more uh, page flags, the fluorescent page flags. I think I got this one at Barnes & Noble. And this one I had gotten in some uh, Happy Mail. And then I have this Filofax uh, notepad because I wasn't using it in my Filofax binder. So I decided to throw it in here in case I do need some scratch paper because it always seems like I do. Then on this side, I have two more uh, gel pens. I have a lined sticky note pad. And then in this back pocket, I have these day of the week page flags from Dollar Tree that I've never used, but I keep telling myself I will <laughs> as soon as I can find a way to use them. And that is it in this pen pouch. Again, I really like this one. Very durable, made well, holds a lot, and you know, it's real easy to take with you when you're on the go. 
So that is an updated look at my pen pouches, pen cases, and yeah, that's it for now. <laughs> if you're not subscribed, please make sure you do so because I do have a lot more videos to come. Thank you again for taking the time to watch. I'll definitely see you in the next video. Wait, I have something to say. What? Um, when um, her pen exploded, actually the same thing happened to me with this little car we printed out online. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Kaden. You're welcome. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>